Sports for You Sports, sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. And welcome into sports, everybody. Caden McFarland alongside Jacob Toby here in Dallas, Texas, inside the Cotton Bowl, where the Sooners have reclaimed that golden hat with a 34-27 defeat of 11th-ranked Texas. Jacob, Jalen Hurts in his first Red River game, little uneven his performance, but yep. put up big numbers. CeeDee Lamb was just spectacular. But the story of the day, one year after giving up 48 Ooh. points and getting their defensive coordinator Mike Stoops fired, New coordinator Alex Grinch showing that this defense has taken a quantum leap. If, if they didn't win the game today, they certainly had a whole lot to do with it, my friend. When you say when they say speed D, yeah. they truly, truly mean it. And you saw guys end. getting after the quarterback. Nine sacks, a team record. This defense so much improved than a year ago. The way we play right now is it was a difference today. Uh, aggression, uh, fundamentally sound. Uh, kept our aggression even in the second half when Texas made a few plays. Uh, we were just we were outstanding there. Uh, we're going to continue to get better. This won't be our best game, but it was a, you know, it was a really good, uh, really good performance defensively against obviously a very talented offense. In the end, uh, we we had playmakers uh, on our defense today, and the minute you don't, you, you become very very average, and so that's something's got to continue for us. It was a great great day. You know, we I didn't know that was a record that we broke, but. It's funny. I still feel like there were some more plays that we left out there. Of course, you know, you don't want to be like last year. So, I mean, you know, you seen us last year. We was one of the worst. So, we didn't want to be like that last year. So, we were really focused on uh, being the best. Opening drive, the Sooners go 66 yards in 10 plays. Jalen Hurts for C.D. Lamb from a yard out. 7-0 OU in a hurry. But that score the only touchdown of the entire half. A Hurts fumble and interception derailing two promising Sooners drives and Alex Grinch's defense just absolutely dominating Sam Ellinger and the burn orange in the first half. 83 yards allowed. Tulsa native Patrick Fields with the sack there. A Cameron Dicker field goal as time expires. UT's only points of the half. 10-3 Sooners. Second half, the offenses finally start trading haymakers. After a long run, Texas would tie it at 10. Now it's Lamb, and can you believe some of the moves after the catch? 51-yard touchdown, 17-10 OU. Another big run by the Longhorns, setting up Sam Ellinger's 12th career touchdown against the Sooners, 20-17 after three. Fourth quarter, OU answers. Who else? Lamb, tight roping the sideline. A Red River afternoon to remember for number two. Ten catches, 171 yards in three scores. After Texas cuts the lead to seven hertz, putting this baby to bed with four minutes to go. The Houston native is going to wear that golden hat. Sooners best the Longhorns, 34-27. Now that you've played in the Texas OU game, how does that compare with the Iron Bowl? It's clear that was coming. <laughs> I did too. Man. Um, to each their own, um, different environments. You know, it's, I don't know any other, you know, person that'll be able to say that they've um, gotten wins in both of those games. So I think that's very special and that's a testament to, to my teammates here, man. You know, this game continues to live up to its billing as the best game in college football. It's, I was talking with, with Coach Gundy down there in the locker room. I mean, he's been a part of this game for so long and it never changes. I mean, and that's what's, it never needs to. It's pretty special. As we know, in the first two years of Lincoln Riley as head coach, the Oklahoma Sooners have played championship level offense without a question. It was the defense that was in question. I think the defense we saw today, I think it's capable of winning the whole thing. Man. Yeah, and when you hear guys like Neville Gallimore talk about what he talked about, they just sound so confident right now that they surely can win a national championship if they play that way continuously.